the next uh, movie we've got to review is a Blu-ray. Uncle Will, aren't you excited? I would be normally. <laughs> uh, the very first Blu-ray from Full Moon Features. You may remember uh, Charles Band is a lovely guest we had on Dead Pit Radio. Almost it's probably been four years ago. At least, so. yeah, it's been forever. Um, and this is honestly, I'll give him credit. the The Puppet Master series is one of the most successful series for the entire company. Probably the most successful series of the entire company, Full Moon. And uh, the the series, what people don't realize is, were always direct-to-video releases. They were never released theatrically. Um, and he talks about that in his intro on this edition. This is the Blu-ray edition of the very first Puppet Master. It's hard to even know where to start with this, but I guess we should just go ahead. I'll just go ahead and give like a basic plot of the film. Uh it's based around the idea that there is a guy named Tolan who cre- he finds this Egyptian formula that gives him the ability to uh, resurrect the dead and transfer their souls into these puppets. So, and all these different puppets are really, really like uh, unique characters in themselves. Like one of them is a uh, leech, like a leech woman that, uh, is basically just a regular woman, but she pukes leeches on people. One of them is yeah. called Blade. He's got the six the, shooters, yeah. always one, and the pinhead. The guy, head. yeah, the guy with the, uh, I think, what's his name, the drill on his head and shit. But anyway, if you've seen the movies, even if you haven't, you've probably seen Torpedo the, Dick. Yeah, <laughs> Torpedo Dick. You've seen these <laughs> characters because they're really, really popular toys and stuff. So yeah, he commits suicide in order to keep the Nazis from getting any information about how to use the. Uh, that ability to resurrect life and it's like many many years later and in this house there's this this group of psychics that get together because one of their own has recently committed suicide and Mm -hmm. they come to investigate this house so which i thought was a weird kind of a weird idea for a plot about killer puppets was to have a group of psychics come in but it just seemed odd but anyway they all get there and they all start to have these different visions. And then there's the one guy that's like their host who, it, I don't know how to explain it without giving away parts of the movie, but he's like, there's more going on <clears throat> with him than... Basically, the, what the movie is, a group of, they're all psychics, are in this mansion, and one by one, the puppets are killing them off, mm-hmm. pretty much. I mean, that's basically what you get in the movie without trying to get into the convoluted plot of the film <clears throat> now i'm not gonna lie to you i like some of the puppet master movies but i remember initially about four three or four years ago us going back because let's talk about full moon for a second um for a couple of years prior to us actually getting the the puppet master box set uh that was a dvd set that everyone was saying is out of print and Paramount, due to legal reasons, they weren't going to be able to carry it again. But, of course, every once in a while, there would be more of these box sets pop up on their website for like 100 bucks. I actually got mine for 50 um, on a sale. But they are still on there. It's not like... That's the funny thing. is there, Those sets, I'm guessing they're still making those fucking sets. But, so anyway, we watched the movie initially. And I'm like, wow... I really, really don't remember this movie being this bad. Um, But it really is. I mean, it's just such a slow build. And the acting, which you shouldn't expect the acting to be good anyway, but the acting can't even carry any little semblance of the story. I'll be honest, though. uh, Like, I don't know what it was, but I really, really hated the movie when we first went back and watched it. Like, I thought it was just... I remember it being a whole hell of a lot more boring than it actually was when I watched it this time. Yeah. Uh, I actually didn't mind it as much this time as I did the first time we watched it, even though... Well, the pu- See, I remember the puppets not being in it as much as they really are. They are in it, because so like each, are in it each one of them bit. kills like off somebody in some yeah. way in this film. But I, I think it's still a very slow movie but uh, and a very cheap movie, but I didn't actually mind it that much because... It has some really good gore in it, and it actually uh, 
showcases the puppets a lot more than I originally thought. Even though the plot is completely like absurd, you really don't even yeah. need a plot. Just get a group of people there together are, in a house. The thing know? that's missing in this too is the human characters in it. There are really none that you yeah the characters give a rat's ass about. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. The acting and characters are awful. Yeah, and that's the problem. I mean, even in a movie like this, like with fucking Child's Play, I hated the character Andy, but at least that was a character that you were supposed to have some sort of emotion for. You know, and you do not have that in Puppet Master at all in any of the characters. Now, on a positive note, you do have uh, some hot bitches throughout the movie with, you know, some great uh, boob shots as well. Um, But you know what? Some of the sequels of Puppet Master I actually enjoy way more than the original, as I remember. I can't remember exactly which sequels. Oddly enough, though, like, didn't you think that... Certain scenes in this movie are especially kind of uh, nasty and brutal for it to be a damn movie from Full Moon about puppets. Like, <laughs> there's several scenes where women are pummeled by this pinhead guy. It's got like the big fist. Like, he's got yeah. normal size fists and like a pinhead. And like, there's like, he's beating them half to death and unconscious and all that stuff. Yeah. It just seemed like. I don't know, that was, that was kind of gruesome. Well, for I mean, this was movie. early on in Full Moon. I think this may have been the first Full Moon movie as a company because before, I mean, he had run a few companies before, um, but Full Moon is in some form or another still around to this day. Um, but I believe this one, yeah, came out in 1990, was like the first Full Moon movie, so they were probably still, they didn't they didn't know exactly what they were doing at this point. But oddly enough, you know, and, and we talk about Full Moon um, DVDs on here. We've talked about them before. Uh, much like Trauma, Full Moon's DVDs are consistently some of the shittiest looking DVDs around. As far as like, it just looks like <clears throat> a lot of their older films looks like they took the vi- old video and just fucking recorded a DVD of mm-hmm. it. I mean, that's really what it looks like. And I was surprised to know that they were coming out with Blu-rays of anything. I mean, it's much like Trauma. Even worse, uh, to be honest with you, the DVDs are even worse than Traumas, you know, as far as the video quality goes. So I'm like, what? This doesn't make any sense. I mean, um, I think the the Puppet Master DVD that I've got in that box set, it's actually like one of the, it's one of the worst looking yeah. DVD transfer. And the DVDs, like, if you get any DVD from Trauma or, um, well, no, any DVD from Full Moon, you'll notice that it just, it's cheaply made for one. Like, any DVD you get from Full Moon, I can guarantee you they get the flimsiest case they can use, which most of the time the cases are broke from Full Moon. Remember when we used to get the Full Moon uh, DVD screeners? All the cases would be broke because they used the cheapest ones they could get. But actually, though, if you go back and watch the DVD of this movie, which I did, like just to see what the DVD itself looked like for a couple minutes, you kind of appreciate more of the Blu-ray, even though the Blu-ray is like... Do you really? <laughs> you really do because the DVD looks well. The infinitely one, worse. The one, uh, the one big difference I can tell is that it is actually in widescreen, mm-hmm. uh, whereas the DVD was full frame. But it keeps a lot of, in the Blu-ray though. It keeps a lot of the grain and a lot of the. Uh, what I don't know what the, exactly they're called, but the you know when you're watching a movie in the theater and they've got the the little lines and stuff that flicker, Dirt specks yeah, and stuff. into the into the picture and yeah. stuff. There's a lot of that in this movie, too. You'd think they'd clean it up a little bit better than that. No, they wouldn't, no. No. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, there is an intro on this from Charles Band. I know you love that. Where he's basically, <laughs> where he's basically uh, giving a rundown of everything you can expect on the on the new Blu-ray. and He just makes it sound like it's going to be unreal, you know, the, the Blu-ray quality on uh, Puppet Master, and I've got to say, beyond a shadow of a doubt, uh, and I don't even want to, I mean, it's uh, to be honest, it's not right to compare it with other Blu-rays, because this is just a really cheaply made movie. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I, you know, Charles Mann is sort of 
from the Roger Corman school of filmmaking. I mean, he didn't spend much money at all on these movies. But as a film in general, just looking at it, it's there's nothing in it that really screams out high def at all. It looks like probably, uh, I don't even want to say a good DVD transfer, but there's nothing. I mean, if you're a Full Moon fan and you're going to be expecting like pristine video quality on this Blu-ray, I, this isn't the one to... No, you really, if you were looking at this movie, if you just like walked in on it and you didn't know anything about the DVD or like about Full Moon or anything like that, you'd think it was a DVD, like... No, there's no way you'd think. There's no part in the movie where it's clear that it's in high def. No. That you can just look at it and be like, oh, that's obviously. In fact, yeah. a lot of it still looks like it's on video. Yeah, to it me. Does. some of it does. Uh, I mean, you got a lot of the soft picture. and That uh, is a big problem in this, in that Blu-ray, though, is the, the gloss and the softness of the yeah. picture. I noticed that, too. It's just, um, it's really a bad fucking Blu-ray. I mean, I I just don't know what else to say about it. I I wasn't impressed at all on the Blu-ray in this, and I'm really not a big fan of the movie either. But I, don't I like the movie more this time than I did the other time we watched it. I don't think it's nearly as bad as I originally thought, but I mean, it's not one that I'm going to be watching over and over again either. Uh, some of the special features, though. Introduction by Charles Band. Yay! Promo for Puppet Master Axis of Evil, which I'm guessing we'll be reviewing the next show we do. Uh, no strings attached. Original making of from the first Puppet Master, and uh, trailers for the first twelve Full Moon features. Which, by the way, that's an interesting point about this movie. This movie was not made by Charles Band. Like it wasn't directed by Charles yeah. Band. It was directed by David Schmoller. I don't. I think the only other thing he did was Tourist Trap that I really know of. Yeah, it's weird too because Charles Band would make you want to believe that he directed a lot of these movies he talks about in his introduction, like. Oh, I was working with uh, Empire Pictures, and I made Reanimator and From Beyond, and and all this stuff. I'm not fucking make those. He did though. He made them. <laughs> he gave. As a matter of fact, he wanted to be uncredited on Reanimator. So that's true. He gave people the money to make them. Anyway, though, if you're a Puppet Master fan, you may want to check this out just to have it. You know, you want to buy every damn thing Puppet Master related. I'll say this: it's better than a DVD as far as like the quality goes, but. Not much. Not better. a whole lot. Yeah. So, <coughs> so that is Puppet Master, the classic first film. Um, but uh, that is it, Uncle Bill. That is it for the show. We'd like to thank everybody for uh, listening, and uh, hope to see a lot of you guys at the Friday Night Film Fest coming up next weekend. And uh, definitely want to remind you guys too uh, that uh, Saturday Nightmares is going to return. This Saturday, Uncle Bill, are you excited? Woo! We've decided to do a whole show on the entire Psycho franchise. I need to see Bates Motel, though. That's the thing. Like, yeah. I, I haven't seen that one yeah, yet. I'll, give you, I'll get you a copy of Bates Motel. That way we can cover it all. We're, we're talking about from Psycho 1 to 4, Bates Motel, and the Psycho remake. God, I I have to go watch the Psycho remake again. Like I never made it through the whole first time I tried to watch it. Well, no, I don't want you to watch it again. <laughs> we can just at least comment on it. But uh, anyway, that is it. Be sure to tune into that tomorrow night. We'll have a link up on the website and all that. It's going to be a huge show. Um, but uh, appreciate everyone, and hopefully you got. We'll see you guys next weekend in Louisville. Have a lot of new stuff for you guys and all that. Buy stuff from us. We'll have a ton of stuff to buy. We'll have a ton of stuff to do and premieres and all that stuff. Madman, so. the making of the the 30-year retrospective of Madman. Yeah, that's right. If you're not in the group, then there's you just gotta, something wrong. you got to be down with the sickness. you got to be in the clique. Yeah. So until then, I'm the Creepy Kentuckian. I'm Uncle Bill. And you've been listening to the number one rated, often imitated, never duplicated. Glossy award winning. That's right. Dead pit. Dot com. You ready to squeeze on the melons while you bat onto the hellions?